Okay. Hey, how'd it go? How much of your awesomeness did you have to tamp down on? None of it. I, I, I was 100% Eve. Oh, come on. You're insane. Did the girls, like, pass out? Well, tell us everything. Okay. Um, my nieces hate my guts. You know, I knew there was something about those two little ones I didn't like. What do you mean your nieces hate you? Oh, they don't hate you. That's the finger they use to point with. No, they, they do. I did all my best stuff. Uh, the zombie impressions, the finger through the head trick, my best armpit farts, Dad. You stole my whole act? <laughs> Just, I mean, I don't, I don't get it. When, when Boyd was their age, he thought I was the coolest person in the world. I, that's because you and Boyd, you like the same stuff. And Boyd could flick a booger really far. Not as far as you. I did measure one time. We were doing that in the backyard, and you were like... Yeah, look, look, Sarah and Evelyn are, they're just into completely different things, thank God. Well, I gave the ant thing a shot. So, what are we gonna do? All this talk has given me a craving to do something gross. Well, the simple solution would be throw stuff off the roof of outdoor men. Oh, yes, that would be great. Remember that sewing machine that Mandy didn't want anymore? Or the, the, the one that we thought she didn't want anymore? <laughs> That would be the simple solution, I said, but the right solution is to take another shot with your nieces. You got to be a good aunt. I, can't I just be the strange aunt they only see at weddings and funerals? Oh, you know what? I should give my sister April a call. You want to bond with children, you got to get into their world. I, I don't know what that means. Well, I know. It means if you're going to play with them, you have to adjust to them. No. They'll tell you what they like. Yeah, over and over and over again. <laughs> Yeah, you, you just let them take the lead. I mean, you might have to sacrifice uh, snots or farts or whatever. Um, but there's other fun stuff to do. But what if they want to have a tea party? Then you have a tea party. You get out that little set, it's, put the little pinky up, hold the top, and you pour like this. And you get those little cups, and the favorite part is you got to say, don't do it, it's hot. You got to blow it. Really hot. Oh, no, 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 no. These little cups, they're so cute because they got these little tiny flowers on them and the little, the little tiny, so hot. It's... Who are you? Father to three daughters. I braided hair. I've had tea parties. I know every word under the sea. <laughs> I bet you were so happy when I came along. What do you mean? I love all my daughters, but my God, yes. <laughs> No, wait, but then, but then I was the one who had to learn how to shoot arrows and put on war paint and, oh, gosh, I still know every damn line of dialogue to Predator. Getting to know kids sometimes requires you to get out of your comfort zone. But I like my comfort zone. It's all broken in. Evie, just give it a try, okay? They're having, they're having a little princess party tonight. Why don't you go over there? And I guarantee they're going to love you. Okay, if you can make it through Schwarzenegger and Dad can be Mrs. Doubtfire, I might as well. Excellent, my lady. You'll enjoy it. And you, you get to the chopper. Go to the chopper! 